arrived in Las Vegas. Getting ready for Shop Talk. Let's get it. This is a big conference for Nifnet. It's where we get to meet all the brands uh, who are innovating and interested in what we're doing. We're tokenizing commerce. We're authenticating products. This is the future of commerce, even though they don't even realize it yet. Let's go. We just got here to the Luxor. Was able to get into my hotel early. Uh, it's 10 o'clock and they let me in. So I'm excited about that, gonna freshen up. And then I'm gonna head over to the conference floor. Always gotta start out at the gym. I'm here, headed to pick up my badge. I'm with the band. Jonathan G. Blanco with Nifmint, and we are here at Shop Talk 2024. Uh, it's been a fantastic event so far. We've had the opportunity to meet with a bunch of brands who are all interested in thinking about Web3, thinking about how they tokenize their product offering uh, with the things that we're doing in the space with tokenization and creating digital twins of physical products. It's been very, very well received from the brands here. It's been really exciting to see just all the innovation that's happening. There's a lot of companies here doing uh, AI technology with search. Uh, they're doing uh, product pages, uh, returns, making it simple. Uh, I definitely recommend that you come to this event and I'm excited for next year. This is the hosted meeting section where you can see there's tons and tons of people having meetings right now, all facilitated through Shop Talk. Nifmint had the opportunity to do this. We got to meet with several investors uh, as well as brands who are very interested in what we're doing at Nifmint. And we're just really excited. There's a lot of great companies here. A lot of companies that have been sponsoring. You, of course, you got Walmart, you got Clavio, Amazon, Fetch, uh, Big Commerce, Adobe, Salesforce, Commerce Cloud. There's just a lot of innovation taking place uh, here at Shop Talk 2024. We're really excited because what we're doing at Nifmint is we're creating the digital infrastructure for tokenizing these physical products and being able to attribute aspects of what happens on the digital side to the physical. And it's really exciting to talk to a lot of these partners who have been thinking about these things, but they haven't really understood how they can move forward with it. And so when they hear about our solution, uh, they really want to connect with us because they see it as a method for them to be able to connect with some brands as well. We've had a great opportunity to connect with several brands who've been exploring Web3, uh, who've been exploring creating digital twins, but honestly haven't known how to move forward because they've been so focused on cryptocurrency wallets and uh, holding cryptocurrency. But that's actually one of our value propositions at Nifmint is that we abstract all the cryptocurrency from the brand. The customer never has to hold crypto and the brand never has to have crypto. Through our APIs, we're able to embed directly into the brand's e-commerce site and make it so it's just as simple as any other product. So when these brands are hearing these things, they're really excited and actually motivates them to want us to continue and move forward. So uh, overall, Shop Talk 2024 has been a success for Nifmint. We're really excited for Shop Talk 2025. And if you want to reach out to us and you want to talk more about how you can create these digital uh, infrastructure and digital
representations of your physical product for your brand, just reach out to us at nifmint.com. Shop Talk 2024 is a wrap. Just completed another successful event. Got to meet so many great people. And man, I'm just coming back inspired. It's just amazing how things have changed since 2022 when we came here for the first time as Nifmint. Got to run into a bunch of people who actually remembered us from when we pitched on stage uh, back then. It was a memorable event. I actually uh, thought that I had a QR code on the screen, but they took it down, so I had to um, turn around and I answered this question with my back to the audience because I had a QR code on my back uh, so I could tell people how easy it was to use Nifmint. It's pretty fun. That's a story for a different day. But yeah, it's been really great just connecting with people. Um, really encouraged by the amount of brands that are thinking about how they can create tokenized products. Uh, they just don't know how to do it. So that's why we're here. We're making it simple. We're making it easy. And it's just a piece of their commerce funnel. Uh, and that's what we're doing. So we'll wrap up here soon. And uh, man, I'm just excited. So you just got to be open to things. I just met the CEO of one of the largest loyalty platforms in the world and talked to him about like what we do at Nifmint and how we've always thought of them as a potential partner because they don't want to deal with creating NFTs. They don't want to deal with creating tokenization, but there's a lot of people that are coming after them and saying like, hey, we're Web3 loyalty, so switch from that company to us because we're Web3 loyalty. No one should do that because the loyalty platforms know what they're doing and all they need to do is just add the tokenization element, which is exactly what we do at Nifman. We provide that to them. So just ran into them, glad it happened. Watch out for Alpha 3D. In the club looking so good.